That's how you remove a magneto. We get at that fuel pump now. Well, so far, up to the present, you know, I have to say that's a pretty darn good fuel pump right there. After a couple of days around here, I fooled with it, couldn't get it to pump nothing. It was out of gas. Didn't have no gas in the tank. I put some gas in that tank right there, and right here, that, uh, that fitting right there, that would go up to your car, up to your mixer, your carburetor, inlet side up there, outlet down here. But the slightest, well, I say the slightest, a normal pumping stroke is, I'll show you. You see that fuel coming out there? At every fourth stroke, I think it is. Uh, it gives you a little, a little amount of fuel. That's the way fuel pumps works. It's just enough to run the engine for the next revolution. Uh, and the excess amount to the point it runs back to the fuel tank. Yeah, I think that'll run an engine. I'd like to have another one of them fuel pumps right there, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I could use one. Hmm. Well, I'll show you something that, uh, we, we got to get that cylinder, this cylinder sleeve out of this engine. And, and, and this right here is a piece of aluminum that I turned on the lathe one time and I knocked the corners off so that it would go into the back of the housing. Y'all just imagine this. <clears throat> this puck here going to go in the... Going to put this in the back there, and if you hold it sideways, it'll go in there. So you put it up in there, you go all the way up in yonder, all the way up to the back of the cylinder, and that that step that I machined into that piece of aluminum, sixty-one sixty fits into the back of that cylinder but it's also the outside radius around there is smaller than the hole in the block so it will come through there but all it is is that thing and it's all thread here and I'll show you how it works Oh yeah, this thing right here, yeah, y'all seen in a video before, but it's a piece of flat metal about a half inch thick with a hole in the center and some, it has these angle iron part standoffs, standoffs to a distance where you don't have to remove your head bolts. And you just put this thing up there, and it'll stay right there. Now you've got a pulling surface here with a gap in there for the cylinder to come out because them angle arms is further apart there that they don't catch on the lip of your sleeve. With our spacer in the back back there, on this, on this kind with the hole in the side here, you can stick a hand in there, get that lined up there, and then index the back part back there into that cylinder sleeve.
probably have to put a wrench on that one inside the housing there, but Let's look at that. I already removed that oiler and the oiler tube pipe from the top of that sleeve. Oh yeah, it's coming on out. We'll set this aside. We'll set this aside to use again. But I think that's a way. That's a way you remove a cylinder sleeve. Okay. One wet sleeve, cylinder sleeve removed. really clean in there it's got some size of sediment uh, where would that come from we'll get our hose on that let's look at that o-ring back there <laughs> 